Hey everyone, welcome back to Osmer Pop. We're back to do more science experiments with Blippi. Hey Blippi. Hi Osmer Pop. I'm so excited to do more science experiments with everyone today. Last week, we learned about density and how things sink or float. If you didn't watch that video, here's a quick recap. Osmer Pop, take it away. All right, Osmer fans. We weighed different objects and did a sink or float experiment. We also worked with test tubes and learned how air affects objects in water. Lastly, we worked with regular water and salty water to figure out what sinks and floats. I hope you enjoyed this recap. Make sure to watch the full video if you want to see each science experiment. Now let's go back to Blippi. Yep, that was so awesome. Okay, now on to our next science experiment, colors. Osmer Pop, let's get started. You got it. All right, activity number one. Primary colors. Primary colors are pure colors. Let's make some. The first thing we have to do is add 50 milliliters of water into each of the three beakers. Okay, let's start by doing that. Perfect. Next, we have to drop one of the red fizzy tablets into the first beaker. What color is this? Let's wait a little bit. Okay, Osmer fans, what color do you see? This looks like red. Does everyone agree? Okay, now we have to repeat for the second and third beakers using one yellow and one blue fizzy tablet in each beaker. What colors did you make? Oh, don't dump your colored water. You'll need it for the next activity. All right, let's drop another tablet in. Let's wait to see what color it makes. Everyone knows what color this is, right? Yellow! All right, here's our last tablet. Let's wait to see what color this is. Okay, Osper fans, what color do you see? Everyone say blue? Yep. All right, here's a closer look at the three colors we made. Back to you, Blippi. Yeah, you made the three primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Now look around you, Osmer fans. What do you see that's a primary color? Did you find a lot of items? <laughs> Check it out, Osmer fans. I got some primary colors on my outfit. My shirt is blue, part of my hat is blue, and my vest is red. Yep. Okay, let's move on. All right, here's activity two, secondary colors. These are formed by mixing primary colors together. So first, we have to gather our three beakers of colored water, the test tubes, rack, and lids. Then using the funnel, fill a test tube about one third full with yellow water. Okay, we have all of our equipment. The funnel's on top. Now let's add the yellow liquid. Next, we have to add an equal amount of blue water. All right, here we go. Now we have to tighten the lid and give it a shake. What color is the water now? Repeat with other combinations of two colors. Repeat with yellow and red in one test tube and blue and red in another. Okay, I'm gonna tighten this up. Now shake. All right, so yellow and blue mixed together makes the color green. Here's a closer look. Let's place our green tube back on the rack and make a couple more secondary colors. Okay, the next combination starts with yellow. and red. All right, let me tighten the cap and shake. Here's a closer look. So yellow and red mixed together makes orange. Okay, so the last combination is red, which I already filled, and blue. Once again, let's tighten this cap and mix. Nice! So red and blue mixed together makes the color purple. Alrighty. So here are the three secondary colors we made. Okay, Osmer fans, let's do this exercise. Do you know what color yellow and blue makes? Green. Alright, how about yellow and red? 
Orange. Now, how about blue and red? Purple. Nice job if you got it all right. Woohoo! Learning how to mix primary colors will provide more options for creating color combinations. We'll do another experiment soon to learn how to make different shades of specific colors, and that'll expand your color palette and spark more creativity that requires any work with color. Look around you. What secondary colors do you see? Check it out, Osmer Pop. My glasses, bow tie, and part of my hat are orange. A secondary color. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Nice! Here's our final activity, fading colors. Now add water to primary and secondary colors to make them paler. So before starting this activity, dump out the remaining colored water from each of the three beakers. Now add water and your favorite color fizzy tablet to the first beaker. All right, sounds good. Let's make a secondary color. Toss in the yellow tablet and the blue tablet to make green. Let's wait a bit. Awesome! We got a beautiful green color! Now we need to fill the third beaker with fresh water. Using the dropper, transfer an equal amount of colored water from the first beaker and plain water from the third beaker into the empty second beaker. Okay, let's fill this beaker with fresh water. Now give me a minute while I transfer equal amounts of colored water and fresh water into the middle beaker. There we go. Now compare all three beakers. How are they different? Here's a closer look. So it looks like we have a dark green color, a light green color, and some clear water. Let's see what Blippi has to say. Yep, you are now color experts. Look around your home. What do you see that's a faded color? Can you name them? Woohoo! Great job, Osmer fans. You now know primary colors, secondary colors, and even different shades of each color. Go out and enjoy all the beautiful colors this world has to offer. Well, hope you enjoyed this video. If you want more fun science experiments, give this video a thumbs up. Okay, see you all next time. Bye. Awesome or pop fans. Thank you so much for watching. We can't do this without you. If you're new to the channel and became a fan, click that subscribe button for more awesome stuff. And if you want to be the first person to watch our next video, hit that notification bell to have a chance. See ya.